Boba Fett. After the Battle of Naboo, a clone army was secretly commissioned on Kaminino by Jedi Master Sifo Dyas, who believed it would be necessary in order to ensure the protection of the Galactic Republic. The army, however, was part of a Sith plot to overthrow the Republic and destroy the Jedi Order. Prior to the creation process, bounty hunter Jango Fett was recruited by the Sith Lord Darth Tyrannus. Jango was to be the genetic template for the clone army. Jango agreed to become the genetic template for a considerable payment, as well as one request, the creation of a clone who did not have the same genetic modifications, such as behavior or conditioning and growth acceleration. The Kaminoanian scientist created this clone who Jango raised as a son named Boba Fett. As a child, Boba was raised by Camino by his father, who taught his clone son many of the skills Django had learned as a bounty hunter. Boba learned survival and martial skills and became proficient with the blaster as a child. He also learned how to operate the weapon system on his father's ship, Slave One, and became familiar with members of the Kaminoan government. Shortly before the outbreak of the Clone Wars, Jango was sent on a mission to assassinate Senator Padme Amidala, an outspoken opponent of a potential war at the behest of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Jango and his associate, Zam Weasel, failed to kill the senator, and Jango was tracked to Kamino by Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi, who knew a bounty hunter connected to Kamino was behind the attempt on Amidala's life. When Kenobi arrived on Kamino, the Kaminoans revealed the clone army to him, and Kenobi requested to meet Jango. Tuan Wee, an aide to Prime Minister and Lama Su, brought the Jedi Knight to the Fett's quarters, where Boba greeted them. Despite being distrustful of the Jedi's presence, Boba allowed them to enter, where Kenobi spoke with Jango about the clones and implied he knew Jango was behind the assassination attempt. Knowing that he had been discovered, Jango and Boba immediately prepared to leave Kamino once Kenobi departed. While loading Slave One to leave, Kenobi discovered the Fets attempting to flee and engaged Jango in one-on-one -on -one combat fighting across the ship's landing platform. During the fight, Boba engaged the ship's blaster cannons and fired at Kenobi repeatedly in an attempt to kill him. As the fight progressed, Kenobi kicked Jango from the landing platform towards the ocean below, causing the Jedi, who was attached to the bounty hunter by a wire, to fall as well. Jango cut the wire and was able to make his way back up the platform while Kenobi landed on the lower levels. This gave Jango enough time to reach the ship and leave as Boba piloted, though Kenobi arrived on the platform again in time to attach a tracking device to its hull. Jango and Boba made their way to Geonosis, where the Separatist leaders had gathered. While en route, Kenobi caught up with them and engaged them in a firefight in the asteroid field surrounding Geonosis. The Fets were able to evade the Jedi, and Jango shot a number of seismic charges into space in an effort to destroy Kenobi's starfighter. Kenobi was able to fake his ship's destruction by ejecting spare parts that exploded, leading the Fets to think he was dead. They proceeded to the planet's surface, while Kenobi remained hidden in the asteroid field before a before pursuing them. Shortly after the Fett's arrival at Geonosis, Kenobi began investigating the Separatists on the planet and was captured by the Geonosians. His capture promoted Senator Amidala and Kenobi's Padawan, Anakin Skywalker, to attempt the rescue of their friend. Jango and the Geonosians captured them, and all three detainees were brought into an execution arena where Boba watched with his father from the sidelines as the detainees fought off the creatures that were meant to kill them. A team of Jedi led by Master Mace Windu soon arrived to rescue them. Windu held a lightsaber to Jango's throat while threatening Count Dooku, but Windu quickly left the stands for the arena below as Separatist battle droids began flooding the air arena. The battle droids and, Je and Jedi engaged one another in the arena. As the battle proceeded, Jango joined the fight where the jetpack on his armor was damaged and rendered inoperable leaving him more vulnerable to attack. Despite the setback, Jango faced off against Windu, who beheaded and killed the bounty hunter. Boba watched in horror as his father was killed. Once the battle left the arena, Boba made his way into the cleared arena and took his father's helmet, pressing it against his head while swearing vengeance against Mace Windu.